Yo, 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 what up, man? Chris, I'm about to check back in, man. Back with the blog, man. Make sure that like button, subscribe button, anyway, and I appreciate all the support. Top of the morning, top of the morning, top of the morning, man. I'm in L for weather, man. Look at this beautiful ass weather in LA. I'm at the LA Fitness. Everybody in LA, man, I'm on the west side right now. Um, by the time y'all get this video, it'll be the afternoon, but it's only like 8 o'clock in the morning here. So by the time I upload it, it'll be like noon on the east coast. But uh, a lot of people sending me this. Uh, this dot video, uh, you know, they, uh, him and Bad News got into an altercation. At first, I thought it was something light, you know what I'm saying? I was like, two people fighting, it ain't really no big deal. Sometimes you gotta get your shit off. It wasn't really that big of a deal, but it did remind me that this is why bloggers don't come to events no more. It ain't cause we pussy, it ain't cause we scared, it ain't cause URL won't let us in, it ain't cause RBE don't fuck with us, you know, don't believe none of that, it ain't because of the case, it ain't, it ain't none of that stuff. That's not why we don't go to events. It's because everybody's trying to have a viral moment, man. Everybody's trying to have a viral, social media has made everybody want to have a viral moment on you. And people are like so thirsty for content and want to send stuff to people. And like, yo, look what happened to Chris Unbias and all this kind of stuff. And that's the world we live in right now. Back in the day, they used to call it, he got world star. They were sending shit to world star, all that kind of stuff. But now everybody's sending stuff. Shout out to OTFMZ. They're one of the leading online Instagram pages for getting a lot of content and people just want to send them shit like yo check this out So-and-so is laying on the ground so-and-so asleep at an event so-and-so Whatever so-and-so is they arguing like just regular ass shit that go on on a day-to-day -day basis at events You kind of see it now you see everything and I already knew that things were happening at events Like I knew twerk was getting in fights and I, I you know, you know, you know a lot of stuff like we just hearing about twerk in Spanish Harlem But if you talk to people they'll tell you that like to keep it real with you, when the Goonies came in a battle rap, a lot of that shit started getting turned up at events. And people will tell you, like, yo, they had, they had a big reason why these events don't seem to be what they used to be. It was a time it used to be safe, but these events don't be having no real security. You know what I'm saying? You see ARP with the AR at the events now. It wasn't like that a few years ago, but he even started being worried about his safety. And this is just what we see. So, Dot... So uh, there was a little bit of the fight footage that came out, and I guess Dot was feeling like niggas wasn't really representing him the right way. Let, let me let me show you what he said real quick. Yeah, because at the end of the day, the whole fight not out, bro. The yeah, whole... I was about to ask. So so I mean, we see we we see we see him drop the clip. You know what I'm saying? And then it's basically you know you got squaring up and shit like that. He catches you on. You go down. You get back up. He hit like a bitch. Okay. He hit like a bitch. I got right back up. Cool. When niggas a little saucy, drunk, whatever, cool. I'm like, oh, what? Oh, I right, bet. So niggas lock in a little bit. Where the rest of that footage at, though? You know what I'm saying? Because I semi-buckled you. The same little white crazy right hand y'all don't see me swing? Yeah, he got I, that. I, 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 I semi-connected with that. Where that, where that's at? Or where the, where the part that where, where, where you and your man semi try to jump me? You know what I'm saying? Man. I turned around ready to break your man up. He ain't want nothing to do with nothing. So what happened? Where the rest of the foot is? Because at the end of the day, the whole fight not out, bro. So a lot of this started because I think bad. I think Dot was kind of looking at first. He was looking a little bit crazy, like maybe he was drunk. Maybe you know he caught that right hand or whatever. And I give Dot a lot of credit. Dot was fighting. You know what I'm saying? Dot a little ass nigga, skinny, can't, can't weigh more than about 150. You know what I'm saying? Bad news is definitely you know, bigger than him or whatever, but he was still holding his own. He caught that he caught that hook and got right back up. So I was giving Dot like a lot of credit credit for even going through that. But you know, pride is a lot. You know, I guess he felt like, you know, niggas wasn't really representing the right way. So then it comes it comes out <laughs> that there's an extended version of, of, of this fight and we gonna play it too. You know what I'm saying? You can go to Piper shout out to Piper Boy. You go to Piper Boy's Twitter account. That's where that's why I'm on he got like a, a longer version. That's why I'm gonna go there. But uh if you go there and Piper will even put Dot tried to end the fight because one nigga tried to jump in with a gun niggas corny as fuck were bringing a gun to a fair fight shit wasn't even a shit was going to be shit wasn't going to be a fair fight at all because eventually Dot said he didn't want to fight no more so I guess niggas is trying to put the footage out to show Dot discredit Dot or something but I ain't gonna lie bad news you look worse my nigga let, let, let me get into this let, let me rewind this and get into it hold on I 
I know it's a little blurry, but what you see is, I think Bad News swung. He kind of tripped over Dot's foot and Dot rushed him. So Dot actually could have just swung, swung Bad News in a little bad spot to kind of get swung on. And his man just come out of nowhere. You know what I'm saying? Watch this shit again. His man just come out of nowhere after the trip. So, in case you in case you can't really see, dude actually, dude actually had a uh, dude actually was holding. You know what I'm saying? The one that came in or whatever got a gun. That shit could go left so easy, bro. Like it's disappointing. It even like this is just. I first of all. For you to even have a gun and pull out like you trying to help bad news, this didn't even seem like a fight with no real animosity. I actually thought when I first saw a lot of this shit, bro, I was like, oh, this is just some shit talking ass shit where niggas is just slap boxing. This is what I thought at first. And come to find out bad news did an interview talking about, no, nah, it wasn't no slap box. It was a fight. But even in this situation, this still struck me as a fight where, okay, niggas are swing, more nigga, you know how you know how fights go. They start off with swinging and they end up grabbing. Somebody will grab and then niggas be like, yo, break it up, break it up, break it up. This didn't this didn't strike me as no, oh, these niggas finna like fight to where one of these niggas finna lay it, be laid out, have to go to the hospital, blood hanging all out there. It didn't strike me as that kind of animosity. It just so to me, I just felt like that wasn't even needed. And you never know how this shit can go, man. You pull a gun out on somebody, you first of all, you need to be using it. You don't need to be pulling it out. Second of all, bad news was all right. Bad news was on the ground, but he still swung from the ground. He still could have got up. It don't mean he was going to lose the fight. For you to come in and save him was just kind of like, he, he didn't, honestly didn't even need to be saved like that. And then the other thing is, bro, you don't know who, who Dot could have had with him. That shit could have went left. You don't know if it would have went off by accident. You don't know anything, man. <laughs> like, there's so, there's so many times niggas have said, even when I was in court, niggas sitting in the courtroom talking about, Man, that night wasn't supposed to go like that. You know what I'm saying? It was just supposed to be two people hanging out and then so-and-so got shot. And it's like, yeah, you didn't really wake up that day and intend to shoot no nobody. You didn't even, later on in, in the moment, you didn't intend to shoot somebody. But if Dot would have done something to bad news or done something to his man, I felt like he probably would have been forced to feel like he got to shoot. And this would have been like, yo, how the fuck a parking lot one-on-one -on -one turn into a shooting? And this is stupid shit that go on at events. This is probably at a hotel, if I'm not mistaken, parking lot. Shit got cameras, all kind of stuff in the parking lot. Niggas is crashing out. Niggas is crashing out. News need to get on his man like, bro, you really put me in a bad position. I'm a battle rapper. I'm trying to make it. I got a, he, I think he got a daughter or something. I got kids to go home to. You doing this stupid ass shit? Like, bro, I don't need you to be pulling out no gun. News even pushed him away like, like yo, what the fuck you doing? But... Why you bring? I ain't gonna say why you bringing guns to a to a to a battle rap event. I already know what's going on. They just be driving and bringing guns. But this is why we do not go to events, bro. A simple one on one can easily not be a one on one. It's simple. I can go to an event, get into it with somebody, a couple people I don't get along with. I already know what time it is. I already know that shit ain't gonna be no fair fight. So that's why niggas don't go to events, bro. And when they do, they got to have hella niggas with them. They got to have, like, talking to league owners. Like, yo, I'll come to the event, but I don't want so-and-so to, to be to get in the building. It's all these, like, behind-the-scenes stipulations and shit that go on with league owners you don't even know about of trying to keep people separated that don't fuck with each other in this culture. And it ain't even worth it. It ain't even worth it now. It, ever since people started clicking up and ever since... The Goonies. I'm, a, I'm a definitely gonna mention them because I didn't heard a lot of shit about them niggas. Uh, but ever since that and these battle rap clicks, there are no more fair fights. There are no more. We just saw Chess and Rock. <laughs> we saw hella niggas knock a nigga out at the Sioux Surf Cortez battle and they had to shut that battle down. Niggas coming into a bag. Niggas laid this nigga out backstage and probably nothing happened. Surf went home and that nigga probably still laid out to this day. This is what's going on. And there ain't no security. A lot of y'all don't go to events. There is not enough security, bro. And the security that's there, them niggas ain't securing shit. Light ass pat downs. Them niggas be trying to talk to bras and trying to fuck with the, the few little 
chicks that be there, you know, the 10% the of females that be there, they try to fuck with them. Them niggas on some cool nigga shit. The last thing they doing is actually trying to hold shit down and uh, make sure shit is straight. But yeah, I'm glad everybody is safe, man. But yo, we gotta do better, man. We have got to do better. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Chris, I'm biased, holla at your boy.